Hi guys, I'm Barbara and this is Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for any other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. Um, if you're looking for my personal information to book a reading or an extended, you will also find it in the description box below the video. If you're looking for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, you can pick one up on QuartzRoseTarot.com. Uh, we are giving away readings and a deck at the end of the month. So if you're interested, hashtag reading, hashtag deck, or hashtag both, you must be subscribed to win. So let's get into this, guys. This is about finding out what you need to focus on, what you need to focus on here. More than a love reading, it's about maybe some spiritual stuff that you need to handle. So let's get into this and find out what does cancer need to work on? What does cancer need to be focusing on? One more. Okay, switch it over. Okay, here we go. What do you need to focus on cancer? You got new life. You got building blocks. The fates. And co-creator. So these building blocks, you may be... So you have your destiny here. This is your destiny. Um, it, you, the fates, the fate in this new life, whatever this is for you, for your spiritual, um, whatever your spiritual team is, is guiding you towards. It's meant to, to um, with this new life. This new life is your spiritual life. This is part of your destiny. Um, I feel like the fates, it's meant to be. It's meant to be the building blocks. You're learning the building blocks are, you know, the tools that they're giving you to create this, to co-create this new life that's meant to be, right? So you're, you're really, what they're telling you is that this is your destiny. This is your path. What they're, they're giving you the building blocks to, to figure out how you can co-create what's meant to be your part in this, this, that co-create to me right now, where these cards are concerned would be like your free will in all of this, you know, what your destiny is and your free will to have this new life. Okay. So tell me about cancer. So you have, you're needing strength, wherever this is, maybe this, your energy is the king of wands here. This is your energy, because this is what you need to focus on. This isn't about love or anything else. This is merely about what you need to focus on in your spiritual journey, on your, I can't even talk, spiritual journey here, okay? Um, you need the strength. This is like to, to take leadership here with the um, king of wands. I see it. I want it. It's mine, right? This is what I meant to do. This is how I meant to do it. And this is what I'm going to, to be doing basically. Um, or I, okay, let me set that down. So you need the strength for you to take leadership in the situation with that king of wands. Um, you may, You may be mourning something. The truth is you may be mourning something here. But this is part of your transformation, right? This is a transformation that you're being guided towards, right? In a situation, your transformation, you're being guided in this direction. And, but the truth is you feel like you're, you've lost something or you're losing something, but you're not. You need the strength to take leadership here, to take control of the situation. The King of Wands is a leader. They are a leader. It's un right under the emperor energy of taking control and standing in your power, right? So this may be you leveling up with passion, but needing the strength to take control, to, to be a leader, you feel like you may, the truth is you feel like you may have lost something, but this transformation you're being guided towards, right? 
this cup's being offered to you, you feel like maybe a little bit of a burden. This, this destiny is a burden. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, um, especially if you're a twin flame, let me just put it this, this, what they're offering you is a whole lot of burden. It's like 10 burdens t times 10. Okay. It, yes. But once you get on the other side of it, you're going to go, Oh, okay. Well that makes sense now. You know, it's almost like you have to walk through, um, you know, broken glass for, you know, five years to figure out that, Hey, it works better if you have on shoes. Right. But I feel like you don't understand that in the process because we're very naive to what's really happening. If you ask me about my destiny and what I was meant to do 15 years ago, I'd have, I'd have laughed if you told me I'd have been here talking to you about tarot cards. I just would have. Okay, I'm telling you, even though I've been you know, learning it for myself, never in my wildest imagination that I ever feel like I would be here teaching twins how to go through what they're going through. Okay. But here we are, right? But I feel like what they're offering you is a burden to you in your mind. It is a burden. You feel like you're losing something. So you feel like this is a burden for you, but you know, you signed up for this, right? And I feel like, but you may be learning how to love yourself first. And this is about you and maybe self-love with that ace of cups is causing you a tower moment. Loving yourself first cancer is causing you a bit of a tower moment here. And you're very much uh, trapped in your head about whatever they're bringing you, whatever this offer is, they're, they're offering you this cup, right? And it's a burden because you have to learn to love yourself first and it's causing you a tower moment. Uh, and you're very much trapped in your head about this offer. This offer is changing you. It's changing you because this is your destiny, right? They're giving you the building blocks that you need. They're giving you the building blocks. These burdens here are your building blocks, okay? Even though you don't see it that way, those burdens are building you and they're going to change you. And they will, because you have a destined, this new life is destined, okay? You're meant to be here. But this, you get to co-create this, but in order to co-create this, you have to love yourself first. You have to, it's almost like figuring, like, how do I say this? When you're, when you're on an airplane and something happens, they make you put the mask on you before they put the mask on your children or somebody around you, right? Because if you don't take care of you first, you can't take care of other people, right? You have to be good first before you can help other people. And that's why this new, this self-love that you've got to go through is causing you such a tower moment. And you're trapped in your head about this offer. You're back and forth about this new beginning. It's almost like you want to block it. You're back and forth about this. You're fighting yourself about your own destiny. You realize that, right? You're actually fighting yourself over your own destiny. You could be blocking your own blessings. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. There's no changing what your soul contract is. You know, even, even if you're not a twin, you could have a soul contract. You may be destined to do something in this lifetime. There may be karmic lessons or whatever this is, but you definitely are blocking your own beginning. You're back and forth. You're fighting yourself. I feel like once you make this decision, you will be rebuilding and moving forward. But once you decide to do this, you're going to be doing it. You're going, to, you're going to be doing it. Even though you feel like you could be, you, you're fighting yourself or, you know, this is almost like somebody who doesn't want to do something and you're making them do it. And it's almost like, it's like you're, you're, um, You're trying to pull a camel, you know, <laughs> and you're trying to, you're trying to lead something that doesn't want to be led, right? It's, it's like, you're not, you're not getting it where you're concerned. You're blocking, you're blocking your own beginning because you're so back and forth about this, right? But once you make this decision, this choice, you will rebuild and move forward. But it's all up to you and how you see this though, right? But you need the strength to take leadership, right? To have forward movement. You feel like 
you know, the truth is you feel like you've lost something or you're grieving something or there's something you're grieving that you're very guarded about. Like you think you need to protect yourself from or the universe, like you're like, okay, now I get it. I get it, guys. When you first uh, start getting downloads and you start seeing things and you start hearing things and you start feeling things, okay? When you become clairaudient, clairsentient, you know, whatever, claircognizant, it is a little scary at first until you understand it, until you get it. It is, you're, you're kind of in fear. This is, you're very guarded. The truth is you feel like you're losing something or you've lost something, but you're this transformation, you're being guided through this transformation. All you have to do is talk to your angels. You just have to talk to them. They will listen to you. I promise you. Right. And, and that way you, this is like you being terrified, you know, this is like that transformation and, and then you're being guided to take that leap, to jump in, put your feet in the water. It's okay. You're going to be able to get through this. It's like focusing on, on, on the building blocks. The building blocks are these burdens up here in the corner. These, the, cause you're not going to learn through unicorns and rainbows. You're going to learn through adversity, right? It's going to be something that's going to take you by surprise. Um, whatever's offering this, this, these burdens that are being offered to you, right? This is you taking control of this. That, see, you're looking at, you're looking at this like, big, giant, shiny ball in front of you. I wouldn't look at that as a pinnacle, but I feel like that's you yeah, in the energy of grounding your energy, centering your energy. Um, you know, this is you being out in the elements and you, you starting to understand that whatever this burden is, that these, these are bl the building blocks that's being offered and you're just looking at one, right? Um, this tower moment of self-love, right? You see this now. You see that you have to love yourself first. And, and, you know, maybe it's that tower moment. It's not as bad as you think it is, but I feel like in your mind it's, bad, it's worse than, it, than, than you think it is. You know, going through the dark night of the soul or, or, or dealing, with, dealing with doing shadow work or any of that and understanding your purpose and your path, getting on that path can be a difficult for a lot of people, right? And the ones that... The, the ones that go, oh, I'm open to change. Uh, you know, let's figure this out. That's kind of cool. They have the easier, you know, a, an easier way to go through this than somebody who's kicking and screaming all the way through. Like, I don't want to do this. I changed my mind. You can't. It's a little too late, right? It's a little too late to change your mind because you're trapped in your head. I feel like you're trapped in your head about what's being offered to you because there's so many hidden things. There's still things that you can't see. Like this is happening at night. Maybe there's, there's, there's still things I can't see. You know, I tell them, you know, it's like my light's been dimmed. Well, it's not really dimmed because from the spirit aspect, it's like a beacon, right? But to, to me, it's like I don't see my own, I don't see my own light, even though I'm in the light, if that makes sense. So, you know, it can be difficult. It can be difficult because there's so many hidden factors here. There's so much that you don't know. And I'm going to tell you, um, one of the things that my guides tell me on a regular basis is you can't know everything. They're not going to give me all the information in one time. They're not going to let me know everything. And, and it's like, I'm meant to know it when I'm meant to know it. And that's when I'm going to get it. And so, you know, the same with you, you're not going to get it everything overnight. You're not going to get to know everything in one, uh, one shot. You've got to grow. You've got to understand what they're trying to tell you and what you're meant to do. And you need to fulfill that. And once you fulfill that, then they give you another task and another task and another task. But this is like you blocking this. You're back and forth about blocking this new beginning, this new life that's meant for you. Right. But I feel like once you get there, you, you, it's almost like it's going to be a dream come true because all of those, all of those um, cups are filled with stars. What, you know, this is written in the stars for you, right? So all 10 of those cups are filled with stars for you. It's like you've got a lot of blessings coming towards you. Once you stop blocking your own blessings, you've got a lot of blessings coming towards you. And I feel like you're going to make this choice. You're going to make this choice to uh, work with your angels, basically collaborate. You're going to make the choice to collaborate to move forward because it's like, you know, you're fighting yourself through all of this and, and it makes it tough on you more than anybody, right? 
I feel like what this is, is you being obsessed with, with uh, the commitment. Once, once you get there, once you decide to work with your angels and your, your guides and your guardians, um, you're going to be obsessed with the commitment. I mean, I feel like once you get there, you understand that. Once you get past all of the, the you're, taking, you're taking control. You're finally taking control. And once you take control, you're going to be obsessed with the outcome, the commitment, the commitment, being obsessed with the commitment. Because you've been able to take control of the situation. You started out the king, right? You became the leader and then you took control. And now you're now you've got this. Now you've got this in the in the bag, right? But I feel like it was a long lesson that was it was a long, hard lesson that you had to learn. And it started with self-love and and trying to feel your way through because you have to learn to crawl before you can walk. And you have to walk before you can run. And it comes in phases, right? So you crawl, then you walk, and then you run. And that's the same thing, even with the spiritual awakening and, and being put on your path. They're giving you the, the building blocks. You're going to co-create this you new life, and it's meant to be. So, guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonated, please let me know. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope everybody has a blessed week.